First caught on tape, an extraordinary courtroom outburst. Not from the defendant or from the victim's family, but from the judge himself, outraged by a convicted killer's actions in the courtroom. And ABC's Marcy Gonzalez has more on what set him off and what he's now saying about it. Marcy, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Bianna. He says this was the most heinous, cold-blooded murder case he'd ever encountered. But this morning, the judge is speaking out to ABC News, explaining that wasn't the only reason he had such an extreme reaction. You gutted him like a fish in that apartment, too. You were relentless. You stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed until he was dead. This judge unleashing on convicted murderer Camille Gamet, the 31-year-old in court being sentenced after a Michigan jury found her guilty of killing her boyfriend. I also remember the cries of help that he screamed as you plunged that knife in and out of his body. Gamut smirking, laughing, and rolling her eyes as the victim's family testified, setting Judge John McBain off. And you're going to shut your mouth or I'm going to have some duct tape put on it. Well, he attacked All right, me. we'll wait here for a moment so we can get her quiet. Some questioning his extreme reaction. Judges are supposed to be above that to some degree. They're supposed to be able to control their emotions a little better than the rest of us. Camilla pleaded not guilty, claiming she stabbed Marcel Hill in self-defense. Mostly everything was lies. There was a little bit of truth, but mostly I was convicted off of lies. But it was the disrespect she showed towards the victim's family that McBain says sparked the outrage he feels was justified. Sometimes judges are required to take firm and definite steps to get control of the proceedings and to ultimately to make the person standing in front of them understand the full accountability of their actions. McBain doing just that, sentencing Gamut to life in prison. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. You know, if this was a death penalty state, you'd be getting the chair. And after he said that and announced the sentence of life without the possibility of parole, people in the courtroom started clapping. Gamut's defense team plans to appeal her conviction. It's really rare to not only see a judge behave like that, but also to see him defend his actions off, you know, outside of the courtroom. Right. No yeah. apologies. Remind you None. that he's only human, as all judges are. Right. All right, Marcy, thank you. Thanks, Marcy.